Hey everybody, I'm JJ. You're watching Reality Survival. So today I was just going to show your chickens and the new chicken coop that I built. Um, had chickens once before and learned a lot of lessons. Uh, probably still be learning lessons this time. Uh, don't be under any illusion that uh, I'm trying to say that, <laughs> that the way that I have it set up is the way that you should do it or anything like that. It's just showing you what I got. Um, I think the coop came out pretty good. I think it's pretty efficient. Uh, for the number of birds that I'm using and those kinds of things. Uh, uh, let's see here. I'd also like to say just real fast, this is all just kind of off the top of my head. I, I would caution people to uh, think that having chickens is a cheap way to get eggs <laughs> because I don't think that's the case, especially if you consider the cost of the run if you're going to have one, you know, where they where they're kind of like a pen to keep them in and then the coop that, that they nest in, you know, or that they will nest and roost in at night and um, and then just the maintenance with feed and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you have a place where you can just let them roost in a barn or something like that, that's already there and then they just free range all the time. Yeah, you're probably going to be money ahead. But if you consider all the building materials and everything to start from scratch, if you don't have that, then it's gonna take you a long while to recoup your investment. And the problem is chickens don't only produce, you know, uh, at the peak levels for a couple of years, two to three years, somewhere in there, maybe you get four, some of them, you know, um, and then you gotta start replacing the chickens. And so you got that additional cost and all that kind of stuff. But I'm not trying to detour you from getting chickens because I think they're great. They're great for giving kids responsibility. They're great for getting eggs and, and having a little bit more self-reliance and all that kind of stuff and your, your food supply and whatnot. They're really good for composting um, and for eating scraps and stuff from the house, you know, that kind of thing. Um, there's, there's lots of really beneficial reasons. Lower bugs in the yard and stuff. If you let them free range sometimes, you know, they eat up a lot of bugs. Uh, there, there's definitely beneficial reasons. I just don't want people to think that uh, that it's like, oh, it's going to be so cheap. <laughs> it's because it's it's really not when you add in all the costs. I don't think anyway, at least for the setup that I have. So with that, let's uh, let's move out here to the take a look at the coop and the and the pen and and all that kind of stuff. Um, we're gonna get some ducks too. We got this little pond over here. And uh, so we're gonna get, we've got some, some ducks coming. Uh, talk to it, a guy who, who raises them and he's gonna get us, I think we're gonna get like uh, eight mallards. And uh, the, the cool thing is, is just some, some quick answers about ducks that I learned when I was talking to him is they, uh, they won't fly off because they're bred to be so heavy they can't really fly uh they can like fly across the yard or you know something along those lines but they're not going to be able to like really take off and fly so all you got to do is just get them a little house and we're going to build a little house over here for them and uh and they'll just go in that at night and if you feed them there at the house then they'll kind of that's kind of where they'll where they'll nest for the night and then they go out and hang out in the day and you don't really have to worry about pinning them up and all that kind of stuff uh, according to him so we'll see how that goes um, but anyway we'll move on over here to the chicken coop there's our, our pile of woods getting pretty small it's a good thing it's it's getting warm out okay uh, so this is the little pin that we've got set up right now a little coop uh, or excuse me chicken run and that is the the coop that I built and I'll try to kind of show you all the little features of it that I put into it. I made a, I made one mistake. I started off trying to um, have a little overhang on the on the front side over here, just like I did on the on the back side. But then I decided after the fact to make this front wall a whole door, and so I couldn't very well bring it over very far. I should have let the the sheet metal hang over like an inch. But it was already buttoned down and I didn't, and so I'm just leaving it <laughs> for now. So I might change it later. But 
We put in some very simple windows, um, just sliding windows, and it's got uh, half inch hardware cloth on the inside there. Let's see if, if you can see that. And we, and we got that stapled on the inside, and that's to keep out raccoons and possums and, you know, whatever. Um, around here, apparently, what you really have to worry about is mink. Um, I wasn't aware that, that mink was a big problem around here, but apparently mink, ferrets, and weasels are just ruthless chicken killers in this area. And uh, <laughs> what they do is they'll, they'll come in, they'll cut their heads off, or chew their heads off and then sit there and drink the blood and then go kill another one <laughs> and they really don't even eat anything they just like to drink the blood they're like little vampires or something so anyway i've got a couple of uh motion detector lights on here those are solar powered lights they come on um if you know it gets any motion in the area so that's pretty cool i i mounted them on the wrong side though i need to switch them to the south side so they get more sun but because i didn't realize what direction it was going to be facing when I put it in. Then we got a little roosting box right here. Let me go into this. This this pen is sitting in an area that I had to uh, that I had to level off with the tractor because we don't have a lot of level area here. So that's why there's so much dirt and all that. So this is a look at the the chicken or the little root the nesting boxes where they'll lay their eggs now if you notice they've already been in there because <laughs> the first couple of days i um i hadn't and i'm gonna have to clean those out a little bit but i i didn't have that blocked off and if, as you see i've got it blocked off now so they can't get in there because these chickens are or these hens are young and they're gonna it's gonna be another probably two months three months something like that until until they start laying so here's this is this a dog pen is all that it is uh, I my neighbor had this and he had five of the panels so I had to go buy an extra sixth which is on the end and uh, I got it for a hundred bucks so I thought that was a pretty good deal because they're normally you know for six panels it would probably have been I don't know, $300 or more. So there's the little girls. And uh, got a little ramp for them to come down. And they're learning that. It's taken them a couple of days. And there's, there's the wild one over there. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I'm, I'm giving these, these uh, waterers a shot. These are um, metal. They're, and I, I feel like they might be a little, little more durable, a little better than some of the plastic ones. And I'm trying to get them uh, weaned over to this new metal feeder also. I just noticed that it looks like I need to raise it up already. So I'll probably do that today so they can get in there a little bit better. Um, and then here's the, the front door. And there's a door inside of a door. So we'll use this one on a regular basis. Hey, Shay, be good. <laughs> the dogs, they still uh, get a little excited when they see the chickens. So this is the door that we'll use to let them in and out, you know, the majority of the time. And then this door is the door that we'll use when we need to clean out the, when we need to clean out the coop. And as you can see, it's a pretty efficient design because all I got to do is just take a rake or whatever and just scoop the stuff out. You know, just move the waterers and the feeders and scoop the stuff out. It's got a couple of levels for them to roost on. Right now, I've got a, a low power heat light in here. It's only 125 watt. Um, just because they're still young, they are feathered. It's probably not 100% necessary, but I went ahead and put it in there. And then there's a look at how we've got the hardware cloth kind of stapled in so yeah that's that's pretty much the design um, this whole thing and materials cost probably I'm gonna guess it's right about eight hundred and twenty five dollars um, because a two by four right now goes for about six bucks which is ridiculous 
um, it's the, the building materials are just very high right now and oh and then I went ahead and put on a uh, I went ahead and put on the screen just to give them a little cover a little additional shade and to kind of hopefully kind of keep hawks and stuff like that from from uh, being too interested in coming in here giving them a little bit of overhead cover look at Shay she's uh, a <laughs> <laughs> She's still trying to figure all this out. Now what we did to introduce them is we took them We took the dogs inside the pen and got them close to them kind of holding them and, and you know Letting them know that it's okay and all that kind of stuff. And now they're They're border collie mixes But Shay has a quarter uh, a Quarter red healer and a quarter something else um we're not sure we think we think it might be we were told a hound. well we were told yeah we were told some sort of coon hound but based on her behavior and some of her markings we really kind of think it might be part anatoly shepherd we're not sure though but anyway she is a lot more keen on on the animals than fire is fire just ignores them she doesn't really care she she really could have could care less but Shay, <laughs> we, we ended up getting eight because we assume that, that she's going to end up getting a couple. <laughs> so, because uh, we wanted six. So that was the, the, the coop was, was sized big enough for um, eight because it's a four by four. So they, they say that, um, so that's 16 square feet and they say you need at least two square foot per bird. So we went ahead and got eight, but we really were kind of just looking for, Hey, you be good. You don't be, don't be getting in birds. She doesn't care. Yeah. Just... She's just looking. She just... And then since there's so much mud and everything in here, we went ahead and threw down some some hay and some straw and and some leaves just because it's just basic mud and we figured that might help uh with them giving them something to scratch through and find bugs and all that kind of stuff and so that is uh the purpose of that <laughs> look at her They're probably so intimidated right now actually they might not be yeah they probably figured out there's a fence here so yeah i don't know but she can't get to her who knows shay what are you doing <laughs> anyway all right guys that's pretty much it um just wanted to give you a real quick look at the, at the chicken coop and the chicken run and all that kind of stuff we'll be getting ducks here pretty soon too and who knows what's what's next after that we'll just take one one project at a time so thanks for watching don't forget to go over to uh or hit the subscribe button if you're watching on rumble um I'll put a link to the Rumble channel down in the description below. And uh, sign up on the email list over on the website, AmericanPreppingAcademy.com. And uh, lots of stuff over there on, on prepping and disaster preparedness and all that. So check it out. Xander, you want to take us out? Sure. Proper fire preparation. That's poor performance. Dang it. I had the mic turned the wrong way. You had it turned the wrong way. <laughs> Say more. Proper fire preparation prevents poor performance. All right, guys. Take care. We'll see you later.